there are so many different types of facial mask out there and you guys know how much I love using them. So today in this video, I will be comparing five high-end masks versus five low-end or middle range. And I will just be trying them out and see if they're worth the hype and worth the money because seriously, some of them ain't cheap. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you join the Beauty Within family. Click that red subscribe button so you'll be notified when we upload a new video. It is pretty much a concentration of an active ingredient, which means it gives your skin an extra boost. I feel like a new person after a mask. It makes me feel good. Okay, so there are like so many masks out there and it gets really confusing, even for myself. It's like you get masks that are like $200 versus a couple of dollars and you're thinking like, what are the difference? Of course, you get those high-end brands who have very exclusive ingredients, which is like sourced from like a tiny little island and everything is hand-picked and they have to use large amounts to get this one little drop of essence, like the Le Mer products that I was using when I was in New York when my skin was falling off. I guess it does kind of weigh out in terms of like how you get the ingredients and what works, but at the end of the day, you just want something that's gonna work for your skin. And I picked the closest comparison that I could find and uh, hopefully this will be an accurate experiment for you guys and I hope you guys will enjoy this journey with me and find out which one works, whether it's high end or low end. Okay, now anti-aging mask. I've gotten this um, Sano Silk Mask from K-Beauty and I really wanted to test it with my all-time favorite Chanel Sublimage Mask. Now both claims to do everything for the skin. The K-Beauty one comes with like a brush and the product is like a clear gel. So I just brush it all on I feel like it's kind of cooling, maybe because it's cold, but slightly tightening, which I'm not a big fan of. Now the Chanel one also comes with their own brush and spatula. I can't find the brush, so I'm just gonna use the same one. The Chanel one feels more like a cream, and with this one, you leave it on for 15, 20 minutes, and then you wipe away any excess. Okay guys, see you in 15 minutes. Oh my God, it is definitely tightening. Sorry for scaring you guys, but my face was like so tight. I have to wash this off ASAP. Okay, so you can see my reason for not liking tightening masks. It's always like makes my face red and irritated. But other than that, the skin definitely looks a lot better. The skin seems brighter and tighter. The sublimage side feels more hydrated and fresh. So I feel like the sublimage will give you like more of a long-term result. Whereas the Sano Silk one kind of gives you like a quick fix. Okay, so Mia asked me to try out two different types of masks as well. So I'm gonna do the peel off ones first. And we have this Passion Peel Off um, from Seventh Heaven, not sketchy at all. This is the low end one, obviously, because it was only $2. And then for the high end, we're gonna use the Glam Glow Gravity Mud. So this one, don't get it confused with the white one, which is a mud mask. This is actually both peel off and it has little stars in it and it smells like coconut. So we're gonna try these two together. So peel off masks are basically, it's like kind of a gel consistency that dries on your skin and you basically just peel the whole thing off. This one apparently is for combination skin. And from experience, try not get it onto your eyebrows because it will wax them off. So I think this one will actually change color as it starts to dry. And I'm always kind of skeptical about face masks that only cost $2, so we shall see. <laughs> Let's put on the Glam Glow Gravity Mud. It comes with a little spatula that you apply it with. So they're both like very gel like in consistency and very sticky face painting <laughs> uh. so make sure that you attach it to every part of the face so that when it peels off it's like one piece okay like, who cares about cucumbers over the eyes i guess their new thing is pomegranates over the eyes i cannot be bothered so time to peel it off so this one actually did not Turn purple. I am very disappointed. I wanted to look like her, but it is like really smooth. <laughs> so it's kind of like a dolphin skin. <laughs> and then this side, it just like all dried to this like galactical galaxy kind of thing. And you can see all the stars and stuff in it. Like honestly, I don't think the stars do anything whatsoever, but it's like really cool. Whoa, so fun. It's like peeling your own skin off. This side, it 
came off so clean. It actually feels so nice and tight. It feels like my pores have actually shrunk. Continue peeling. Oh, okay, so that part didn't fully dry. This one, I think, was a little thicker. You can tell, like, this is still wet. So I feel like after those two peel off masks, what I learned is that you have to like make it really consistent, like the thickness of how you put it on, otherwise it won't dry in the same time. Surprisingly, I think I would actually go with the El Cheapo one that looked really dodgy and was only $2 because I feel like they kind of did the same thing. And it doesn't like feel like it's making my skin itchy or anything like that. I would say low end does the job for peel off musk. I picked Glam Glow Clearing Mud, which is super popular and I'm comparing it to this Dr. Jart one, which I have been using currently. The Dr. Jart one, it's actually like a mask slash cleanser in one. Basically, all you do is just apply a thick layer after cleansing the face and wait for about 15, 20 minutes and then rinse it off in like a circular motion, kind of like just washing your face again. Now, the Glam Glow one is way more fancier. You also have to apply this after cleansing the face and as soon as you apply it, you kind of feel this like cooling sensation and after about two to three minutes you start to feel this like tingling and tightening of the skin you also wait for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can actually see the mud drying and then you will just rinse it off with water like usual now the difference I feel after the mask is that the glam glow side feels cleaner for some reason even though the dr. Jart one is like a cleanser slash mask in one I think it is definitely that cooling or that tingling sensation that makes you feel that your skin is cleaner. In terms of the look, the Glam Glow side is more red than the Dr. Jart. However, I feel like the results is very similar. Like it's not a huge difference there. So for natural face masks, we're going to use the low end, which is the Bell Bar, developed by Mia actually. And it's 100% natural ingredients and it's for brightening, it's for nourishing and hydrating. And then for the high end, we're using Pharmacy Honey Potion and it's their Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. They both have hydrating properties and let's see how they work. This side, we have the 100% Natural Bell Bar Mask. It like definitely doesn't smell nice, but you know, when things don't smell nice, it kind of makes you feel like it's very natural. <laughs> Put it on like this. So all you had to do was kind of add a little bit of water to loosen the actual mask up. So this one is very thick and it's not scented and it's 100% natural, which is why we're going to put that on the left side. So this one's like pure honey as well as a lot of other antioxidant ingredients and honey is good for hydrating and purifying. So you can use the spatula or you just apply it with the fingers. This one also doesn't really have like a scent. You can even make honey masks at home by just using honey. So what you do after you put this one on is you actually massage it for about a minute until it becomes like a white foam because the heat will actually activate it. <laughs> it looks like egg. Egg yolk. <laughs> Okay, so once you've kind of like heated it up, you'll feel it kind of warming up as well. And then you just leave them both on for 10 to 15 minutes. So my first thoughts is the bell bar feels more like it took more of the impurities and the oils away because it's a little bit more drier compared to what I feel on this side, which is a little bit more soft and nourished and it did say it was hydrating and nourishing this one whereas this one kind of feels like a clay mask almost but I definitely feel like they almost did two different things because they're both natural I'm not really I don't think I don't feel inflamed or it's not like tingling in weird ways or anything like that so yeah you can always kind of trust that 100% natural ingredients are going to be the safest on your skin Oh man, I love sheet mask. Today I'm going to compare the SK2 whitening one to this Korean one by The Art Cell. So I'm just going to cut both in half and try them both on the same time. First, you can see the SK2 one is in the traditional cotton sheet that's like white and it's very stretchy and it's moldable. It's like almost like microfiber and the liquid is quite creamy. Now the Art Cell one is clear and the liquid is very runny. 
Um, actually, there's quite a lot of product in there. I think it's like enough to do the whole body. I can feel the SK2 drying a lot faster. It can also mean that my skin is drinking it up more quickly. Um, but after removing the mask, I feel like the Art Cell is more hydrating and it leaves like this glowy finish, whereas the SK2 one dries down quite smooth. So in terms of whitening effect, the SK2 size seems whiter, but I feel like the Art Cell size seems more glowier. So I don't know whether you guys want to achieve that sort of effect. All right, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video because I love making them. So make sure you hit that like button. I'll wait for you to hit it. I hit it with you. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already watched my previous video when I explained the different types of masks and what active ingredients you should be looking for for your type of skin, make sure you go watch that because it is very important to understand what you should be looking for for your specific skin type. Please remember to subscribe because you want to join the Beauty Within family and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!